right, so we're here at the Mattel Collector Showcase for Toy Fair, and I'm with Scott Knight, like toy guru, you know him. Apparently also known as Straight Pipes. <laughs> That's right. His nickname is Straight Pipes. We'll have another video up that explains that joke. So, uh, good grief. You have a giant castle in your showroom. It's I here. do. Oh, my God. CB and I like spent like two hours putting it together right before the show. Like, literally last minute, we're like sticking figures on it. It was crazy. Are you going to come to people's houses and help them put I, it together? I will, yes. If you buy an automatic collector, I will personally come to everyone's house. and put, No, I'm just kidding. I better not say that you'll legally hold me to it. <laughs> so, do you have a favorite feature that ended up in it? I think for me, actually, it's... And it's something that's not even sculpted right now, but it's going to be the, the hole that He-Man's sword can go into right before the jaw bridge. Because okay. that's what he did in the mini comic. And yeah. I always wanted him to do that in, in my old toy. And, it was, and the ledge. I love the ledge. Right. Yeah. It's just really great to see those features that we saw in the prototype finally here. Exactly. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about the new product that you're showing for Masters, also the Filmation? Uh... Yeah. So there is a new Filmation series. So it's a six-figure series. It's an add-on sub. It's kind of similar to how we did the 30th anniversary sub in 2012. Mm -hmm. 12. What year are we in? And, uh, but this time, instead of being every other month, like the 230th anniversary series, you know, Fearless Photog and Drago Man, Spectre, that kind of thing, these are going to be Filmation figures from both P.O.P. and Masters. They're just going to ship in the fall, so every month instead of every other, starting in July. The first three figures are out, which are Chakotay, Batros, and Icer. I think it's the other order for release. And, uh, yeah, no, they're, it's great. I mean, it's so cool. It, it's basically the reason we added it. We wanted to catch up. You know, we didn't get the rights to the Filmation series until kind of mid-12. And it always takes about a year from getting the rights to actually getting stuff to market. Yes. We sort of snuck Shadow Weaver in there and like that Filmation Randor. Um, but now we're really getting into Filmation and the, you know, that faction, if you will, is kind of underrepresented. So this was really a way of catching up. So the Castle Grayskull is going to go back on sale tomorrow for two more weeks. How long is the Filmation sub going to be open? Same thing. Say, uh, actually, I think it's through March 1st. So yeah, it's about two weeks. Okay. So both Castle Grayskull and the Filmation series will be available to, uh, to pre-order the next two weeks on Maddie Collector. And uh, yeah, you can add it to your existing subs to save on shipping, avoid sellouts. Buy another castle, buy 12 castles. I hear Barbie needs someplace to live. Um, she's welcome to live in the castle. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you'll, you're going to have a lot of figures by the end of the year. <laughs> I mean, we're almost at like 100 figures. Yeah. This is crazy. Unreal. Nobody does this. It's unreal. I mean, there's no six inch playset, seriously. And the nice thing is, you don't have to look for any of them, they come right to your house. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry we can't gift wrap them and like deliver them with like perfume, but yeah, it doesn't get better than that. I mean, every month you're getting figures delivered right to your doorstep. The castle's going to get delivered right to your doorstep. You don't have to toy hunt. You don't have to worry about finding it or buying it on the secondary market. It's going to be great. Now, uh, I, th I think it's public knowledge because I, I spoke to Jordan today, but you're going to be in season two of Toy Hunters. Oh, well, Jordan told you that. He did tell All right, me well, Jordan, Jordan told you that. Yes, I can confirm that. Uh, yeah, he was uh, on one of his road trips with the Travel Channel, and he, he, was, he happened to be in El Segundo area, so uh, he stopped by to ask me some, some vintage Motu stuff, and uh, we wound up kind of chatting a bit. Thanks. Yeah, it was, it was a real thrill. You didn't sell him anything, did you? didn't give up anything? I did yet? not sell him anything, right, no, no. He may have sold me some things. <laughs> oh, that's a different story. <laughs> yes, no, no. I, I, he, he did try to, he did try to uh, get my Spirit of Castle Grayskull, or Spirit of King Grayskull figure, right. and my uh, Hal Jordan. Okay. But I would not part with those. So let's talk real quick about the uh, the DC sub, what you have new there. Yes. We have Fire. Fire. Huntress. Huntress. And uh, did we see uh, Shazam Jr. earlier? Did we see him uh, We saw him in New York, but okay. this is closer to final. So he okay. actually is articulated now. I wasn't in New York, so he's new to yes, me. Yes, he's new to you. It's new to you. Yeah, so we got Fire, half of the uh, duo of Fire and Ice, the original girl on Fire, for you Hunger Games fans. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, she's gonna be great. And I think Ice probably won't be too far behind, I hope. Huntress, you finally see the paint job. I hope people are happy. There was a lot of debate about what she would look like because we showed an unpainted model in New York. Yep. Uh, she'll have her bow, or her crossbow. And uh, yeah, it's great, she's great. And 66 Batman. And 66 holy action figure. Come on, 66 Batman. Yeah, I can't believe we're finally, this is amazing. I mean, between that and Watchmen, I think it's yeah. like, you can't ask for more. Those are some pretty sticky license things for quite some time. Yeah, I actually got a chance to meet Adam West. He came to Mattel. Really? And uh, part of our kickoff, we had like an internal show, and okay. he surprised everyone. I actually got to introduce him on stage. Wow. Uh, they, uh, they dressed me up as Robin, and uh, I came on stage. Are there pictures of that? There might be some pictures floating around there, and uh, I got to, to go. Some and, other Mattel 
Intel employees. Yeah, here. that was a real big thrill, and I got to chat with the message. Very, he was just a really great guy. Yeah, and. Um, He's so thrilled to be an action figure, finally. Yeah. It took a long time, it too did. long. That's unbelievable. And, yeah. and the fact that we're getting a vehicle, a and Batmobile. A, and a Batmobile that he'll, you know, and I, one thing that's really great about the 66 Batmobile, you can stick any six inch figure in there and it's instantly a talking, like a, a conversation piece. Yes. You know, you could put it, I'm just gonna hold the Wind Raider as like an equivalent vehicle, but you know, you, you just stick the figure in there, you put it on your coffee table, you could have Buzz Lightyear behind the wheel or Rorschach or, you know, He-Man or whatever. And it's just like, Instantly funny, That's but true. it does work best with Batman. So <laughs> highly encourage you to put Batman behind the wheel of the Batmobile. So I know it's like picking one of your children, but you have a favorite in the showroom today? That were for the reveals, other yeah. than the castle. <laughs> the I castle. mean the castle. You, I think. You can say the castle. I think the ca I mean the castle pretty much takes it. Um, I mean I'm, I love seeing the Watchmen line. I've been trying to do Watchmen figures. For, I wanted those to be like the second series of DC Classics back oh, in the day, wow. and I was like shot down left and right. So okay. to, find, to, to get to do something I was told will never happen is, is really, well, it's not that it would never happen, it's just, you know, things had to line up. Sure. You know, it wasn't that people were saying no, it's just logistics. You know, things had to, you know, nobody was saying no, it just took a couple years yeah. to make my wish happen and yeah. everyone's wish. Um, I, I really couldn't thank Warner Brothers in DC enough. I mean, it's because of their partnership and they are amazing partners. The reason that we have a Batman 66 line and a Watchmen line and we're doing characters like Fire and Huntress and, you know, Freddie Freeman. I mean, it's because Warner Brothers in DC understand the collectors and they know these are the figures, you know, I, we've got some new 52, we've got some classic, it's like everything. So it's great. Well, I love working with them. What everyone wants to know, if there's a fire, they're going to be an ice. I, I think you, I think you can't not do ice. All right. Um, let's just put We're it. We're not going to confirm or deny. I will not confirm. I will not deny. But uh, yeah, I think I think ice is definitely needed. Um, you know, we love completing teams. We did it with Metal Men and with Doom Patrol. So now we started a team of two. So we'll have to try to finish that. A, right. a duo, I guess. Well, thank you so much for your time, Scott. I oh, really anytime. Great reveals and uh, have a good rest of the show. See you in the aisles. All right.